Hey everyone, welcome to what code. We're in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert an MP4 to an MP3 using FFmpeg inside a Docker container. So as a demonstration, this right here is an MP4 file. And when we run our Docker container, so I have an image built. If we just create a container from it, I already have that container up and running. So I'm just going to remove it. If I run this, create a container, we can see FFmpeg working right here, which is inside our Docker container. And now we have our output MP3. So this is an MP3 that's been extracted from this video file. And we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do all this with FFmpeg inside a Docker container. And so a little background before we start the video is FFmpeg, or Fast Forwarding Moving Picture Experts Group, is a command line tool that allows us to process audio and video files. We can use it to add subtitles to video, change a video's contrast, stream video to a server, and much, much more. And as FFmpeg is a command line tool, we can easily spin up a Docker container that contains FFmpeg. There are pre-made images that contain FFmpeg already, but it is very simple to create our own custom image. So for this demonstration, we're gonna use Ubuntu version 24.04. So I'm gonna create a Docker file. And at the top, we're just gonna use Ubuntu version 24.04 as the base image. And next, we just need to install FFmpeg with the advanced packaging tool. We specify dash Y for non-interactive mode. And now what we want to do is let's set our working directory and also define some build arguments. So we're setting our working directory to dash media, and then we're going to specify our video input file, which will be our MP4 file, and then our audio output file, which will be our MP3 file. And right here, so arg, these are build arguments, and they're supplied to Docker at build time. These are going to be the input MP4 file and the output MP3 file. However, build arguments are used at build time and not at runtime. And this is an issue because we will run FFmpeg at runtime with the entry point command, which we'll see a bit in a bit later on. But we can work around this by passing the build arguments as environment variables. So actually what we're gonna have to do is after we get these arguments, we're gonna have to create environment variables out of these. And environment variables with env are passed in as part of the environment, so they are available at runtime unlike build arguments, which are only available at build time. And so what we want to do is we want to copy over our video input file into our media working directory. And then all we need to do is just run a very simple command. So we're going to run ffmpeg. We're going to specify our video input file. And then our output is going to be our audio file. And dash y right here at the very end, it overwrites output files without asking. And we're doing this so we can run this multiple times without creating a new container. But all we need to do now is actually run this Docker command. So I'm gonna paste it in right here. But before we do this, I'm gonna get a video input file to run this against. So right here, I just have an MP4 file, which is on a, it's a video I made earlier on. But what I'm gonna do is for the build argument for the video input, I'm gonna take the name let me pull this up just in case I'm blocking the command. And I'm going to paste it in right here. And then for our output file, I'm just going to call it my output.mp3. So now if we run this, we also have to tag on a dot to use our Docker file. So now we've built our image, which is called FFmpeg I. So now we just need to build a container from this image. And so the way I'm going to do that is we're going to run. We're going to name it FFmpeg C, and then let me zoom in a bit more. We're going to create a volume that maps our current directory to the media directory that we created inside here. And this volume is very important as it will sync the MP3 output file in the container to our host machine. So essentially it'll create the MP3 output inside the container. And then because it's linked to our current directory, we will see it outputted here. So if we run this, we can see the logs from FFmpeg running right now and it looks like it finished. And so if we look here, we have our MP3 output and we can see it works fine. So it extracted this MP3 from this video file. But so that's all it takes to extract MP3 from an MP4 file using FFmpeg inside a Docker container. If you like this video, please consider downloading my Chrome extension called Witceptor. Link is in the description. Leave me a good review on it. But besides that, uh, thank you for liking and subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.